super duper fun. Do you want to know what we're doing? I'll give you a big hint. That's right. We're taking silly photos of each other and we have all these crazy props to use like this. And like this. And even this. This has been the best day ever. Say cheese. Oh. Ho! It's Ollie! Hello, Lucy! Ho! Ho! Taking pictures today, are you? Hi, Ollie, I sure am. My friends and I have been having the best time taking silly photos and holding up these crazy props. Just look at this nose! Everyone's eyes, nose, and mouth are different. It's true! I have a story about who made them for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. And done. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Do you want to see my painting? You do? <laughs> okay. Get ready. Ta-da! <laughs> I painted a picture of me, myself. <laughs> See, my brown eyes and my brown hair. I'm just a beginner, but I think I did a pretty good job. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Ooh. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. <laughs> the 
Yep, we've got everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about the maker of all people. Who do you think it is? Hmm? God, that's right. God made everyone and he made us to be like him. But no two people are the same. It's true. Some people are girls. Some people are boys. Some have red hair. Some have black or blonde or brown hair. God made us all in the most wonderful way. He created people with fingers and toes and ears and eyes. God created people with legs and arms and a mouth and teeth. God even gave us a brain to think. Incredible, right? God is amazing and he made us to be like him. Now, speaking of our brains, God gave us very special brains. God made us to learn. It's true. There are so many things we can learn. Oh, we can learn how to talk and tie shoes and read books and ride a bike. There are new things to learn every day. In fact, we're learning about God right now. And God made us so creative. Who here loves to dance? Ha huh? <laughs> ha, good. Who here loves to sing? Ooh, great. And who loves to build towers with blocks? Awesome. That's because God made us creative, like him. And do you know one of the best things we can do with our amazing, wonderful, creative selves? Help others. Yes, God made us to help. We can help others by painting get well cards, or helping clean up, or saying kind words. Huh, isn't that amazing? God made us to learn, to create, and to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. God made all of us special. And that includes you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that is so cool. God made all of us. We are all special and unique in every way. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Hey, I have an idea. Can I take your picture? When I say, say cheese, show me the silliest face you can make. Are you ready? Say cheese. Wow, that was awesome. Good job, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14.